New Mexicans of the future, I am recording this from the year 2012, and I am posting this onto what we call the internet, but in your time might be what you call something else. At whichever time you uncover this video, I'm sure that things have changed drastically for the people living in our state. Allow me to demonstrate something that was totally normal in our time, which I'm sure in your time you've done away with in some form or another. Future New Mexicans, I apologize if my actions looked at all extreme or like a madwoman, me freely consuming of our groundwater like this. I hope you were able to take out any children that were in the room before I started my stunt. You see, however, in the year 2012, groundwater is not only available, but it is freely consumed by all people. Outside of bottles of water that are sold in stores, individual, it's, uh, it's different. Maybe, New Mexicans of the future, just maybe, you weren't disturbed by my actions. So much a surprise that drinking water was still at all available. And I can understand that. As of right now, we have a few things going on that you've probably heard of or read about in your state history books, um, if reading is still a thing in the future. Reading is the act of seeing words and then trends. You know what, that's, that's for another lesson, another time. We'll talk about it later. Now, here, in the year 2012, we have aquifers in the ground that supply us our water. We also have oil fields in and around our state that we use to extract petroleum from, uh, from the ground also. The process of doing that is like really, really complicated right now in the year 2012, but uh, a lot of times there's this byproduct that gets made, and it's uh, gross, and so we just take that, and then we go ahead and we, we dump that, also into the ground. And the pits that we, we dump all that gunk into, we, we, we passed a regulatory rule that meant that those, those pits had to be lined so that none of the goopy stuff could like seep into the ground where we also pull our water. But you, people of the future, know better than I do if that rule was done away with or if it was softened as it's been threatened to be softened and or taken away recently here in the year 2012. That rule is commonly referred to as the pit rule. Future New Mexicans, uh, you may not know it because it's such a dated reference to you, but that was a hilarious joke. Anyway, future New Mexicans, you know better than we do if that rule was taken away or softened and if it had anything to do with the quality of your water. And future New Mexicans, it may once again be time for you to take your children out of the room because I'm really thirsty and I'm about to pull my stunt once again. Perhaps you don't have the marring of your water from oil production gone awry. Perhaps it was because of the great Kirtland Air Force Base jet fuel spill of our time, 1950 to present day. How? How, you might be asking, did we present day New Mexicans allow for a 62 year gas spill to happen? And I tell you this now, people of the future, that we didn't even know that there was a jet fuel spill going on until 1999. And then it wasn't even until 2007 that we even found out that it was a threat to our water. And at the most recent reporting here in present day New Mexico, the jet fuel spill is estimated at 24 million gallons. I wonder, future New Mexicans, how bad it got before something was done, or if something was done about it. Perhaps it was one of these events, people of the future, that caused your water to be ruined. Maybe it was something else like uranium mining. Maybe though, just maybe, all the people around here kind of banded together and did stuff to protect your water. And I mean, if that's the case, 
and that sure makes this video look really silly. Either way, let it be know that there were some from our time that cared about the water. They knew how precious it was and wanted to protect it for you and for them. Hopefully more and more people will find out about this and band together in the recent future so that we can protect it for you, people of the very far off future. The people of the very far off future. If you are at all capable of communicating with people here in the past, um, you should know that we use a thing called Facebook. I bet that would be another thing you learned about in history class. Um, and if you could go and, I don't know, like this video or comment in the comment sections, that would be a great way for you to communicate here present day with us and then um, people present day share this video and maybe in the future people will see it and we'll get those answers. Um, but that's all for my transmission this week. I will see you all next week.